Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my recommendations video for Sephora's Holiday Savings Event for Beauty Insiders 2021. I, like many of you, really look forward to Sephora's Holiday Savings Event for Beauty Insiders every single year. This is the time where you can save up to 20% on your purchase, depending on your tier level. If you are not already a Beauty Insider, which you do have to be in order to access this savings event, I will have the link to sign up down below in the description box, as well as the code you will need. I'll actually put that up on the screen right here. And all of the dates that different tiers can access the savings event, all of that will be down below in the description box. So during the Sephora Holiday Savings Event for Beauty Insiders, if you are a Rouge member, you will receive 20% off your purchase. And by the way, you can use the code YAYHOLIDAY multiple times. If you are a VIB, you will receive 15% off. If you are a Beauty Insider, you will receive 10% off your purchase. And I also wanna mention that during the Holiday Savings Event, everyone that is a Beauty Insider or a VIB or a Rouge member, can receive 30% off, will receive 30% off Sephora collection products. This video is in partnership with Sephora. I have decided that this year I am going to narrow down my recommendations to 20 items. And these products are all things that I use regularly, that are staples in my collection. And I have to say the main reason why I decided to do it this way and really try to edit my recommendations down to these 20 is because I know a lot of you are probably watching a lot of these types of recommendations videos and it can get very overwhelming. It can get very confusing. So I just thought I would bring you the best of the best, in my opinion. So the first thing I wanna share with you is actually not one specific product and not necessarily a staple in my collection, but I could not do this video without sharing this right here. This is something that I think everyone either needs to get for themselves or as a gift this holiday season. I've actually already given this Sephora Favorites Beauty Must Haves Everyday Best Sellers Kit to a friend for her birthday. And then I went and purchased another one for myself. Look at what is in this set for $54. And then again, depending on your Sephora Beauty Insider level, you can receive an extra percentage off of that. You receive a full-size Fenty Beauty Mascara, a full-size Beauty Blender, a full-size Kosas Lip Oil, a little Laguna Bronzer, a mini Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, so many fantastic minis of so many fantastic everyday bestsellers from Sephora. You cannot go wrong with this set. I don't see how anyone could get this as a gift and not love it. If any of my regular viewers were asked one thing they know about me, they would most likely say that they know I love Charlotte Tilbury. I love Charlotte Tilbury as a makeup artist, I love her products, and I could honestly dedicate an entire video to my Charlotte Tilbury recommendations. But for this video, I have included five. First up is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powders. I use both shade one and shade two. I use shade one to set my under eye concealer, and then I use shade two for the rest of my face. This powder, I think, lives up to the hype. I have been using it for years. It takes down shine, it blurs the pores, it doesn't settle into lines under the eyes, at least it hasn't in my experience. It just gives such a beautiful airbrushed finish, hence the name Airbrush Flawless Powder. So I love, love, love these. I'm going to be replenishing mine. Next up is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I have raved about this in so many of my videos. In my opinion, nothing touches the setting spray. No other setting spray comes close to locking in my makeup as well as this product does. Not to mention, I think it smells great and I will continue to buy this over and over. Yes, I've tried other setting sprays and some are very, very good, but as I said seconds ago, in my opinion, nothing compares to this. Your makeup will look just applied 10, 12, 14 hours after application if you use this setting spray. Product recommendation number three is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is, I think, probably one of Charlotte Tilbury's star products. Everyone tries to find dupes for it, but I don't know, I have yet to find anything 
that comes close to the formulation of this product. You can use this to even out your skin tone. It's not a foundation. Some people do use it as a foundation, but that's not what it's meant for. It is meant to give your skin a filtered appearance. By the way, I use the shade three, and when I purchased this, which was a while ago, because a little bit does go a very, very long way, the shade range wasn't as expansive as it is now. You can also, I believe, buy this in mini sizes too, and that's great, because if you're like me, you don't go through this very quickly. And the reason why I don't go through it that quickly is because I only use it as a highlighter in this area because I have quite oily skin. But if you have dry skin, I highly recommend using this in conjunction with your foundation, mixing the two together, or using this all over your face before you apply your foundation. Your skin will look flawless, dewy, gorgeous. Another must have from Charlotte Tilbury that I've been using for years is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. This is one of Charlotte's original products and I don't think enough people talk about this anymore. I have the light medium version. There is also a medium dark version. And this is a staple product in so many makeup artists kit because if you do have fair or light or even light to medium skin, this is the perfect soft contour color. And what I mean by that is that it's sort of goof proof. A lot of people are intimidated by contouring and cream contouring and they feel like in person you can see where the contour is and it just doesn't look that great in natural light and face-to-face -face communication. So if you do want to make your features look a little bit more defined, like your cheekbones or slim your nose, you want to use something that is, well, goof proof and is the right tone. And this tone is perfect. And then this highlighter, I'm gonna add a little bit right now, is, beautiful. You can put this on top of your flawless filter. I do that a lot if I want a more vibrant highlight. Look at what that just did. Popped. It just completely popped out my cheekbones, made them look a lot higher. You can also use this on your tear ducts. It's just a must-have, I think. Oh, I forgot I have one more Charlotte Tilbury product that I recommend. This is the Magic Cream. This is actually the Magic Cream Light. I have used the Magic Cream in the past. I talk about it a lot in my videos when I do tutorials. I use it to prep my skin. I've also talked about it in my skincare routine videos. I recently switched over from the cream to the light. And I do feel like this one is ultimately better for my oily skin. Although I had no issues with the cream either. I was very worried for the first couple of years that Charlotte had her magic cream out. I didn't touch it because I thought it would be way too heavy and just not good for someone with oily skin. And at the time I was a little bit more acne prone. As I've gotten older, I'm not so much acne prone anymore, thank goodness. But I'm so glad I eventually tried the Magic Cream. It really does feel like a luxurious experience just to apply it. I think it smells amazing. It makes my skin appear more plump and youthful. My makeup goes on beautifully on top of it. You can actually try out both formulations in this mini Magic Skincare Wardrobe set. You receive the Magic Cream Light, the Magic Cream, as well as the serum. Moving on to my recommendations for foundation and concealer. We could be here all day with just those two categories. Sephora carries so many fantastic foundations and concealers. I really had to think quite hard about which ones I wanted to put in this particular video. I personally am going to be repurchasing my Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. This one right here, I love it. I talked about it in my top three foundations video and I just think it's amazing. That said, my recommendation is actually for the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Why you ask? Simply because I think this is a foundation a lot of people have been wanting to try. It's just a little bit on the pricey side and it could be a splurge for many but I do think that this is the perfect opportunity to try this foundation during the Sephora Holiday Savings event. This is one of my holy grail foundations, especially for mature skin. If you do have oily skin like I do, you are definitely going to want to use an oil absorbing primer underneath and you're going to have to touch up with the powder. I do not wear this foundation or I would not wear this foundation as someone with oily skin 
expecting it to last 12 to 14 to 18 hours. I will reach for this foundation when I have a night out and I know I'm only going to have my makeup on for about four or five hours. That said, if you have normal combination or dry skin, you're going to get a lot longer wear time out of this. I just love the finish. I love the feel. I just love the way this looks on the skin. This is a foundation that is in every makeup artist kit. Well, I shouldn't say every. I would say 80 to 90% of makeup artists have this in their kit. So if you can save a little money on it, do it. And then for concealer, my recommendation is the Turn Up The Base Concealer from the brand One Size. I have been so impressed by this concealer. Not only is the shade range quite good, it's very expansive, you should definitely be able to find one that suits you. The coverage of this product is fantastic for the under eyes. I don't personally use concealer on my face, I use one strictly for my under eyes, and I have some decently dark circles. They're not the darkest ever, but they bother me and I look for a medium to full coverage concealer. But I also want one that isn't going to settle into my fine lines, look dry, cakey, none of us want that. And this concealer really, really delivers on everything that I'm looking for and nothing that I don't want, which are those things I just mentioned, like looking dry and cakey and all that. So if you are in the market for a new concealer and you have not tried this one yet, I recommend it. Okay, before I get to the rest of the makeup items, I wanna mention two hair product recommendations I have. The Sephora Holiday Savings event is the perfect opportunity to pick up a new hair tool. And if you have had your eye on a GHD curling iron, it's time to make the purchase. I love mine. Of course, I chose to wear my hair up today, but here's a photo of how I normally do my hair when it's down. I love the beachy wave sort of look. This is an innovative everyday curling iron with tri-zone technology to guarantee a constant, even optimum temperature. I use the one inch barrel, but it also comes in a 1.25 inch. It has a two year warranty, a 30 minute automatic shut off, which is important to me because I have a tendency to forget to turn off my hair appliances. I've tried a lot of different curling irons. I still own a lot of different curling irons. I don't ever return them. I always keep them. And this is the one I reach for the most because of the fact that it does have that consistent temperature. And I have bleached hair. I get highlights. My hair is aging and all that fun stuff. So I don't want to use too much heat on it. So I really like that this one is, I mean, any heat styling is damaging, but I like to keep the damage to a minimum and GHD is where it's at. Speaking of hair damage, let's talk about Olaplex. I use pretty much everything Olaplex. There was a time that I switched to a um, shampoo and conditioner for hair growth and I sort of still rotate hair growth products into my routine, but I do have one row of hand tied extensions which again, I probably should have worn my hair down in order to show you. Point is that now that I've sort of faked it, I'm a little less inclined to use the hair growth products. I still always recommend Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, but if you already have a shampoo and conditioner that you use and love, but you do want something to help repair damage, maybe your hair is overly heat styled and bleached like mine, you've got to try Olaplex step three. This is their hair perfecter. I have about maybe one or two uses left in my bottle. I will definitely be purchasing another one during the savings event. This repairs and strengthens all hair types. I'm not gonna go into detail on how to use it because all of that information is on the Sephora website. And by the way, I'm going to have all of these products. I'm sure most of you already assumed this, but I will have everything listed and linked down below in the description box. So if you click on the link to this number three hair perfecter, it's going to tell you exactly how to use it. It's going to tell you everything that's in it. All I'm gonna say is that it's really magical. Every time I go get my hair colored, my stylist will feel my hair and tell me if she thinks I need to give it a little bit more TLC, if it's more dried out or more damaged. And in the last two, three years since I've been using this product and some other Olaplex products, she has always told me that my hair is in really good condition. So I say it's damaged and bleached and all that because it is somewhat damaged because I use heat styling tools and I get highlights, but it's not as bad as it could be or would be 
had I not been using really good quality hair care. Next, for eyeshadow. This was really difficult. I know a lot of people are thinking, well, this is a time that I should maybe purchase a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette or one from Pat McGrath because those are definitely more of a splurge and to be able to get those palettes at a savings is kind of tempting. That said, I have to be honest with you, and while I love my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes and I love my Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes, I definitely think that if you've been wanting one, this is the time to also add it to your cart. However, as I stated at the beginning of the video, I am trying to share with you recommendations of products that I use regularly. And to be honest with you, I reach for my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes far more often than I reach for any others. As you can see, my Soft Glam is well loved. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And I chose Soft Glam simply because I think it's the most versatile. I think it works for the widest variety of skin tones. I happen to really like Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow formulas. Some people might find them a little bit too creamy and they do have a little bit of fallout. I don't really mind the fallout. Some people really, really do. But if I know I'm going to be using shades that have fallout, I'll just do my eyes first before foundation and concealer, or I'll just clean it up. A lot of you probably already own this palette, but if you don't, I think you should try it. Or if you don't want the full size, I'm sneaking in an extra product here. Or is it really an extra product? This is the Soft Glam 2. It is a mini version of the original Soft Glam. I find myself reaching for this one even more often than I reach for this one. This is perfect for travel. It has all of my favorite eyeshadow colors in it. I can do a quick daytime look. I can do an evening look, a super smoky eye with this. I can use the black shade as eyeliner. It's truly one of the most perfect palettes I own. I think this is the first year that I actually have an eyelash recommendation for you. I wear false eyelashes, either strip lashes or individual lashes or corner lashes. I would say maybe four to five days per week. So I do consider myself a little bit of an expert on false lashes. I also have small hooded eyes and I don't like lashes that are very overwhelming or very dramatic. Even for nighttime, I prefer a more subtle lash. And I've worn the Velour Effortless Lashes, the No Trim Lashes, off and on for several years. And then they recently launched their Magnetic Lashes. And I was a little skeptical because I had tried other magnetic lashes in the past and I just really didn't love them. I struggled with the liner. I struggled with the length of most of them. I have to trim every lash I've ever purchased because my eyes are smaller. And I don't like when the lash comes too far into the inner corner. So the fact that they came out with this magnetic lash in the smaller effortless styles, I couldn't help myself. I really wanted to give it a try and I'm so glad I did. These lashes are amazing. I'm currently wearing high voltage, which sounds like they would be very dramatic, but I honestly don't think they are. I think they are perfect. They're fluffy. You can get multiple, multiple wears out of each pair. The other ones I have are these called Opposites Attract. Yes, I do have them on the wrong sides, but you can still see what they look like. So I am extremely happy to say that I have finally found magnetic lashes that I love. Oh boy, I need to get through these products quicker or we are going to be here for an hour. Let's talk about blush. I absolutely love blush. And how I narrowed this down was I just looked at my collection and saw which brands I have the most of that I have gone out and purchased. And number one is clearly NARS. This isn't even all of them. This is just what I can hold in one hand. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them here. You truly cannot go wrong with a NARS blush. They're pigmented, they're long wearing. You can find any shade of blush that you are looking for within the NARS range. If you want a hot pink, if you want a vibrant orange, if you want a peachy pink, if you want a plummy tone, NARS has it. I will forever be a purchaser of NARS blushes. I'm not sure if that's proper English. I think it might be, I will forever purchase NARS blushes. Regardless, you get the picture. Another brand it appears I have a blush obsession with is Patrick Ta. One, two, three, four, five. And then I also have the new 
Major Headlines Blush Palette. This palette is actually my recommendation. Look at how gorgeous these colors are. I love everything about this palette. However, when I last checked, it was sold out. Unfortunately, I do not have any inside information on whether or not Sephora will restock this during the holiday savings event, but if they don't, then I recommend purchasing pretty much any Patrick Ta blush, whether it be the powder formula or the cream formula, although I will say that my favorite powder shade is She's Passionate. My favorite cream and powder combo, these are actually called the Double Take Cream and Powder Blushes, I really like Do We Know Her, although She's So LA is beautiful as well. And if you are in search of the perfect liquid blush, look no further than these from Rare Beauty. I'm just crazy about these. I have three, Love, Joy, and Happy. Happy is a bright pink that I currently have on, although I went with a very, very light hand. You definitely want to be careful when applying these. Just use a little dot and blend it out. You can always add more if you'd like more intensity. This shade, Joy, is one of the prettiest peach blushes I've ever used. Did you see that little bit that I applied? Look at how much color I got from just that little amount. Just two little dots. And that's all I need. And if you have oily skin and you're concerned that these will not last, they do. My next recommendation is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Sculpting Stick. Earlier, I was talking about the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and how that is the perfect contouring shade for someone who doesn't want to cream contour. It's excellent for someone who's a beginner or just doesn't even need a lot of contouring. But if you like to go in on your makeup, if you like to do the full chiseled cheek, slimmed out nose, contouring, these are fantastic. I happen to have medium dark sitting here. I think that's from the other day when I was a little bit more tan and I was wearing a darker foundation. That's when I use medium dark. On a regular basis when I'm not wearing a darker foundation, I use light medium. These go on so easily. They blend out seamlessly. There is a little brush on the other end that you can use to blend out. I actually don't use this brush. However, I do think that the shade range and the consistency and the blendability of these sculpting sticks are fantastic. I would expect nothing less from Mario. He is one of the greatest makeup artists of all time. Speaking of great makeup artists, let's get back to Patrick Ta. I know a lot of you would love an entire recommendations video just on lip products. Wow, that would take me a long time. I think just preparing for that video would just be so stressful. Choosing this duo was kind of a no-brainer because I feel like a lot of people are looking for that perfect nude lipstick. And Patrick really knocked it out of the park with Oh She's Single. I love the lipstick and the liner. I didn't always love the liner. The shape of this lip liner, which is sort of on an angle and you click it to bring it up, it took some getting used to. But now I'm a convert. This fills in your lips so easily. It's such a creamy pencil. And this kind of shape actually helps to fill your lips in a lot quicker than traditional lip pencils, I find. And the formula of this lipstick is really beautiful. It's very creamy. It wears a decent amount of time. I've actually worn the hot pink shade. I can't think of the names off the top of my head but I have the hot pink shade, I have the orangey red shade. Those stay on a very long time. If you are looking for a brighter lipstick to maybe change things up, maybe you're like me and you wear nudes all the time, definitely take a look at the entire Patrick Ta lipstick range. A couple more lip products I love are these two from Dior. This is the lip oil. Now, I do love the Kosas lip oil, but I've already shown one of those in that set, that Sephora Beauty Must Have set. There's a full-size Kosas lip oil in there. I love that formula, but I also love the formula of these Dior lip oils. I know this particular shade looks really dark. I think it's called Mahogany, but it's what I have on over Oshi Single, and it's gorgeous. It's not dark at all. What I love about this is that I can wear it on its own, and it just gives my lips 
that natural flush, but obviously with shine. It's enriched with cherry oil and it keeps your lips feeling so hydrated. If you are a glossy lip lover, you need one of these in your collection. If you are a matte lip lover, or even if you're not, and you are in the market for a liquid lipstick that stays on, but that is not drying, look no further than these Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Lipsticks. This is forever nude. I have been wearing this regularly since I purchased it. As I said, it's matte. It is transfer resistant. It has 12 hour wear. The best thing about it is that it feels weightless on the lips and it doesn't feel drying. At least it doesn't to me. It has been a really long time since a liquid lipstick formula impressed me this much. This little guy is $38. So this Sephora holiday savings event is definitely the time to pick one up or two. Okay, I'm down to the final two products. I've got a bronzer to show you and a fragrance. I'm always a little hesitant to recommend a fragrance because fragrance is so very personal and something that you might love and that smells good on you might smell awful on me or vice versa. But I have to tell you that I have fallen in love with this Chanel Gabrielle Essence. I bought this by mistake. I meant to purchase the Eau de Parfum and accidentally ordered the Essence Eau de Parfum, which does have a little bit different notes than the regular Eau de Parfum. This is a classic floral, which is not typically my thing. I usually stay away from florals. I normally gravitate to something that's a little bit more masculine, a little bit sexier, maybe has some sandalwood. And when I wear those types of scents, yes, I think they're sexy and strong. And then when I wear this one, I think it's sexy and feminine. Not that you can't be both feminine and strong. You 100% can be and are. Describing fragrances is not my forte. So I'm just gonna tell you that this smells amazing. And if you do like florals, or even if you don't, if you can get to a Sephora store and smell this and spray it on you and see how it works with your body chemistry, I think you may find that this is your new signature scent like it is mine. And my final recommendation is for a bronzer. Sephora carries so many amazing bronzers. This is another category where it's just so difficult to choose. But my personal favorite is this one from Ilia. I don't know what it is about this bronzer formula in particular, but I just gravitate towards it. It blends seamlessly with my skin. Ilia is a clean beauty brand. This formula is completely matte. It is talc free. I use the shade Novelty and it gives me that just got back from a week at the beach sort of look. It's everything that I want in a bronzer. And this shade Novelty is described as a medium dark tan. So if you don't want a very intense bronzer or you have very fair skin, I would probably recommend Drawn In, which is described as a light medium tan. All right, I can't believe I've gone through 20 recommendations. I can't believe I was able to narrow it down to 20. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave them for me in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. As I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, everything about the holiday savings event at Sephora is down below as well as all of the links. So that'll do it. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, I truly appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I do try to upload new content at least twice per week. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. The username is the same. It's all Risa Does Makeup. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.